Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we have something very interesting. And this is from Bloomberg. I will leave it in the description down below so you guys can check it out. T-Mobile, now investment grade, gets 7.5 billion credit line. The telecom giant achieved its blue chip status in July. Larger revolver gives the company now more f financial flexibility. And this is something that I've been keeping an eye on because T-Mobile has two times less debt versus what AT&T and Verizon carry. So now I know that T-Mobile is not spending as much capital on CapEx as Verizon and AT&T, but I figured that with the less debt, T-Mobile was able to get into more debt if need be, right? It gives them that financial flexibility especially after getting investment grade, the investment grading, it now gives them that f flexibility to get more money if they need it, if they feel threatened, if they feel the competition is closing in. So that's this is something very interesting. So the telecom, T-Mobile US, boasted the size of its revolving credit facility to $7.5 billion and removed certain collateral pledges as it takes advantage of its recently achieved investment grade rating to gain more financial flexibility. The move increased a special type of loan, also known as a revolver, by $2 billion, according to a filing on Monday. So this is very interesting. So like I said, this is giving T-Mobile... This is giving T-Mobile the flexibility it needed, right? Before the Sprint merger... T-Mobile wasn't able to move with this type of flexibility. They were constrained. They were only, they were really just only able to spend what they were able to spend. And they couldn't really move outside of that. But now it's a different ball game. They're growing. They have success. The free cash flow is increasing. And as this merch company with Sprint, they now have the investment grading, which is which is a big step in the right direction for T-Mobile. Like I said, each and every day, T-Mobile is positioning themselves to become more competitive against AT&T and Verizon. And AT&T and Verizon now face their biggest competitor in the MO space ever in terms of networking, right? At some point, and this is what several people have told me, at some point, the coverage is going to get very similar to where price and value is going to matter. That's going to be the the difference maker in the end in, in in most cases, especially now already at the metro level, and that's where T-Mobile is trying to get that. They already have the perception as being the the cheaper and the most valued. So that's going to take them. It's going to take them into the next level because I feel at some point, not now, not next year, but in the future, at some point, the coverage is going to be somewhat similar to where the consumer is going to look at value and price. And that's where T-Mobile will already have the perception to be perceived to be the best value and cheaper than Verizon and AT&T. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Like I've been telling you guys, if you follow the, the numbers, you look at everything, you see where this is going. T-Mobile is on the come up in a big way. They have a long way to go. They got a lot of work to do, but everything right now, is falling into place and T-Mobile is taking advantage of what they are able to take advantage of. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.